Hey, Don here. Okay, I'm back with uh, Team Viewer controlling my uh, Bit Defender virus scan, my Alma AS Rock, or controlling the system, I should say. And the virus uh, definitions are still uh, downloading. They're um, close to being done, looks like. The Team Viewer, let's see, I'm trying to take it easy here. Here's the, the download of the uh, <coughs> definitions. There's a little menu at the top there, a few settings you can change. And down here, it's kind of a status bar. Well, it's finished. I have to get in close, but that's the team viewer status bar. Okay, now I'm going to hurry up and get back over here. I want to see what's going on. Loading the antivirus engine, please wait. Okay. i got to sit back. <coughs> it's hurting my neck sitting all the way up there like that. Oh, it's still got our snake dog virus killer for our desktop background okay now uh, oh it's scanning so you don't get to check anything I couldn't remember if this was I know some of the ones I looked at recently to see about trying didn't have any uh, settings that you could do at all so what we've got here <coughs> is uh, It's running now. Scan five five thousand uh, seven hundred eleven files already, so it seems like it's going to be fast. And then resolve issues and uh, at the top and results summary. Of course, there's well, I don't know. Well, there's no no infected files yet, so it won't help me to click on those tabs yet. <coughs> <coughs> but you know, I like that. Uh, I've seen that in a couple of others, and I kind of thought, well, it didn't. I don't know why it didn't really hit me that I could just uh, set that team, turn on Team Viewer. Well, because I was thinking of it as just being the viewer and not the server. But uh, you can also do a text like there was another person on the other end. So what'd be cool about this? Uh, one thing that'd be really cool and you, you know useful is if you were helping someone else, you could. Uh, I don't know. I, you could either give it, have them, uh, instead of having them bring their whole computer to you, you could just give them a USB stick, tell them to boot up to it. And you could probably talk through them on the phone or a chat or something, you know, uh, tell them uh, how to get it up and going, and then you could, uh, you can remotely scan their system from here. Of course, it's simple. It's little, it's when you get to the end when you probably have to decide what to do. You know what the, what the results of the scan. So, uh, but I, this is cool for me right now today because if I get if this doesn't get through before I get ready to quit, which won't be all that long, uh, I just didn't wanted to, I didn't get it done yesterday because I was ready to go to bed. By the time I got my uh, USB stick ready. And then today I had other things come up and I've worked all night. I've been, I've been staying up all night and sleeping all day lately. So it's 4.48 a.m. now. And I got up at around 7.30 last night. Just about 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, maybe got through with what I was doing and started this. So um, it, usually, it can take easily take three hours or more, you know, to scan this system with any given scanner. So... Uh, of course, during a lot of that time, I can go get my bath, eat some supper, and then I'm gonna. Uh, but then, I'll, I, before I do all that, I want to plug out, take this cable off of this AS Rock and put it on my laptop so I can use it to watch TV. So, uh, I uh, <coughs> I just may do that today. I may actually do that. So up here at the top, in the uh, Team Viewer, you've got. Uh, few settings you can change it, with my phone it does it through Wi-Fi this is going through my wired e Ethernet connection so it'll be should be plenty fast it doesn't even I mean the numbers are going by there's no delay in my scan results of course there's not much to that but anyway up in there there's some things you can change the view well, there's a, a notice down there of free license not commercial use only yeah okay so uh, I have tried saying optimize, optimize uh, speed whenever on my phone. You know, my phone screens are only four inch and they're hard to read. So uh, uh, 
I tried to optimize speed to, to maybe they weren't they don't refresh real good bec over the Wi-Fi. You know, there it was just a little bit too much data going through for the phone's Wi-Fi chip. Cause they they the best thing gets uh, they they run really run between all well, 15 megabits to 30. 39 is the highest I've ever seen them get on a test. So, uh, and of course my slowest router is 54 megabits, and the one I use will do 150. And so you know it should be able to go faster than my. Uh, if the chip was faster in the, in the phone, then it could go faster than my uh, wired my wired Ethernet. It's only 100. I've got it one. Well, actually the AS Rock is a gigabit Ethernet built-in Ethernet, but I don't have a gigabit router. So, so anyway, uh, a few settings in there. Communicate, uh, switch sides with partners, switch sides. Wow, that's cool. So you can let them control you and you can control them. That's getting a little weird, isn't it? <coughs> okay, so um, call via the internet, call by telephone. I wonder if you can do that. I'm not going to do it now, just be more bandwidth using up. I never noticed that before. I guess I wasn't paying any attention. Because I know I didn't have anybody to communicate with. Start internet call. I wonder if that's in this free version and works. Chat. I knew there was a chat. Video. I guess you could do a desktop video. That could be useful too. I think I might have tried that. And you can send files. Take a screenshot. Now when you're doing this on the phone. Maybe that's why I never saw this. Because I wasn't doing a desktop to desktop. I was doing desktop to phone. That's why I never saw some of that. Uh, when you say take a screen screenshot, uh, it it go it sends a note to the phone saying, uh, ask the person on the phone to take a screenshot for you. So yeah, you can support phones too. What, what I'm doing is can just trying to be able to set up set things up and read the tiny little screens on my phone. But that's what I do. And I figured out how I could uh, use it to uh, when I have the front camera, the more higher resolution camera facing me, and I want to take the video of myself. I can start it with Team Viewer. I won't go into that now, but start session recording. Now I've done that, I believe. The other one's different. Video. I wonder if that's playing a video. I don't want to do that right now, but I'm really interested. <laughs> I may have to try it. But I didn't want this video to go super long, so I'm not going to get into all that. And down here, uh, phone, video. So it's kind of some of those same controls that are down here. And that looks like a little chat window down there. Oh, that's why I don't see everything. This this is a little more uh, to the screen than what I can see. Oh, sorry. I'm starting to go real fast. Let's see if I can get close without making a mess of it. Oh, i got to get that close for it to work. So, um, some settings, audio. Then you're um, you up here. Can't hold. Get to it and hold it. So anyway, there's some other settings. Uh, there's I can see the phone screen, and if like I said, it's only I can really look at it with it that close, and they're kind of blurry. But you know, if you do, if you get try this out, you can see all this stuff yourself. Go back up here to that menu. See if I can. I don't know if I can find the menu with my. Okay, now here's those menus I've been talking about. I knew you couldn't see them. At least it'll give you a little bit of an idea of what they are. I'm in a real precarious position, so I can't. Oh, made it go away. So if it's bugging you setting up there, then you can make it smaller. So, oh, we've got a couple of, uh, couple of infected items already. Let's go see if we can see what they are. <coughs> oh, click on resolve issues. It doesn't go anywhere. It's result summary. So you're not going to be able to do anything till it's over. It's, it looked like it's almost stopped, but I guess it's just in a, what is it? Uh oh. Run media live CD Avast PE toolkit. Oh, maybe that is on my hard drive. What I'm worried about is one of the reason I said uh oh is because I really would have liked to have excluded 
my SD card that I'm running this from. You could even potentially break the system you're scanning with, you know, virus definitions get a false positive and get deleted. If this thing automatically deletes, I think when you get to the resolve issues, you'll be able to tell it what to do. A vast PE toolkit. Oh. Well, what? Run media live CD. But this is not a vast, this is a bit defender, so. And I didn't put a vast on my uh, 32 gigabyte SD card. That's why I'm scratching my head if I could. I don't have a free hand to do it with. But it's a CAD file. Which is usually associated with Windows stuff. I mean, Vast may use them, but. And PE, usually Win PE. Well, I think maybe they might call it that. that I think maybe it's uh, something to do with making a, a Vast ISO for. That's uh, <coughs> what it's kind of ringing a bell to me is it's. Vast PE Toolkit is what you use to build your a boot ISO, a rescue ISO. You can do that with a Vast, but since I already, first thing I did was use, I have a Vast on my system, that's what I use, so I just used boot time scan, and that's pretty similar. The only difference is it runs in DOS instead of a Linux distro. Of course, it's still running from a different, well, I didn't actually have a clean system, completely clean system to build one with anyway, so I couldn't. you got to have a clean system with a Vast on it to build one or it's useless. If you build it with a dirty system and one infected, then you just build an infected rescue disk. So you always got to have a clean system to build up your rescue disk. So I'm not going to know anything until it's done. And it's still on that file. Of course, those CAD files can be big, so that's not a surprise. I, I just thought if I click it on those, what if by clicking on those things, I messed up uh, something? And uh, what's cool here is my team viewer. I didn't. I don't think I mentioned that. <coughs> Those uh, t two numbers. There was a long number and a short number in that uh, team viewer window. When I went to, I typed in the long number because I knew that's where I, you know that's a number of your kind of like an ID number. Uh, I call. I think I said earlier it was a password, but it's an, like an ID for your. Instead of uh, you know using IP addresses like VNC does, VNC does and, and other remote desktop apps, it, it makes an imaginary number and uh, dynamically made number by the program. And that's what threw me off in the beginning. I was like, well, I just started putting in the IP address, you know, and it wasn't working. <coughs> and so anyway, after I read a little bit of the instructions, I was just like, oh, okay. But anyway, the short number is the password. So as soon as I uh, typed in the ID number it came up and asked for a password and I thought oh well, that must be that short number so there and it went right in so it said uh, you know all that stuff on the I said about being un unattended we might take some setup or something but uh, it really is unattended because um, with BNC you have a password I mean you cannot have one but I always make one and then you can set up the, the the server side. You can set it up to either accept connections unattended, or you have to okay them. But you know the user on the machine has to okay them. That's what my idea of attended and unattended is. But so this is unattended with a password. So I like that though. That's just what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I can log out of here to stop using up bandwidth. Go about my business, and then if I want to log back in, like it later, like I said, if I want to unplug those cables off this machine, as long as it's running and everything, uh, you didn't have a power outage and then rebooted or something, which I'd be bad anyway. Uh, as long as it's running, I can use any of my machines that has Team Viewer. Oh yeah, my laptop don't have Team Viewer on. I don't think. So I'll probably have to use this machine or install Team Viewer on it. <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, I can use a different any other machine on this network on the same network to uh, go right to it and because I went I went and wrote down those numbers and everything to go right to it and uh, check it out and then when it's done I can completely control it you know tell it what to do to resolve the issues and everything and then shut it down without having to crawl back behind my rack and let me I'll just show you see my rack here this is a computer rack I used to install teco equipment tell telephone company offices and uh, this big old white rack 
I got my audio gear in it and, and computers. It's really a computer rack. There's my laptop. <coughs> Down here below is my S Rock and a couple other computers. The one with the blue light on, that's the one running. That's what I'm scanning. So I have to get around behind there. And can't get there from here, but I can get there from over there. But I still have to stick my head in there. And I uh, usually always get dust. And after I've had my shower, I don't want to get dust on my head. You know, it makes me cough and sneeze and all that junk. So uh, I try to plan things out. That's what I'm going on about. I try to plan things out so that I, you know, get in there like, uh, I don't get in there after my shower. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't have to mess with that after my shower. And I can. I don't know why I'm rattling about all this. I can use that little mini, little mini keyboard to control my laptop, but the volume is slow to respond, and you got to look at it to hit it. And you know when you're watching shows and you get booms and bangs and gunshots and explosions. I got a volume knob on here that I can move really, really fast if I can get it to focus in on it. Oh. See, I've got, I've got another computer, another keyboard just like this one. It's, a, it's an HP with a USB keyboard. It's pretty old, but I love it. It still works great. Um, I have two of them. Got another one over there by the TV. So I just, uh, that's how I can ride my volume without blasting everybody out of the house, especially if people are asleep. <coughs> so, uh, enough about all that. Let's see, um, so we have uh, been running 16 minutes, and I've talked most of that time. It says estimated time, what, 10, 24, 10 minutes? Elapsed time, estimated time. Yeah, that's minutes. Files second, files per second, 16. Oh. Still on two infected items, no no expected or IO errors, no in suspected or IO errors, so it will just have to do its thing, and uh, I think I will go ahead and log out on TeamViewer now, and then I can just log back in to check on it. I may turn on my laptop and see, and see if it's got team viewer on it because that's where I would want to shut it down from if I can because when I want to shut this machine off too when I start watching TV okay this is Dawn and that's uh, so actually a pleasant surprise with the bit defender I like the features and the extra apps it has with it sometimes they can really come in handy okay this is Dawn bye